I'm veneering the drawer fronts for the Sheraton chest of drawers. It's a bowed chest of drawers, so you have this shape of the drawer front. And in this case, the top drawer front, I've already veneered with the pattern, uh, the patterns. I'll show later in some later videos how I go about doing this uh, veneering. But first, I also need to veneer the back face of the drawer front. This is yellow poplar and I want the absorption of moisture to be equal on the back face and the front face and to have that equalization I veneer the, the back side as well. So I'll show that process in this video. I've already cut a piece of veneer. This is mahogany veneer. And it'll go in this spot right here. The center line is located. And then later I'll do another piece, the same size, and overlap the two and slice the center line for a nice joint. And I think the hot hide glue is, is ready. So I'll bring that over. Here's our veneer hammer. And the hot glue pot. And looks pretty good. So I'm going to just paint this on pretty liberally first on the on the veneer. I'm going to work fairly fast. It's not that warm here in the shop. This hot high glue has a fast tack which you want to have in doing this kind of work. Um, and now I'll just coat the inside drawer front. I did texture that with, uh, I couldn't use the toothing plane because of the shape, but I used a file to rough up the surface here on the back of the drawer front. That helps the veneering. How you you need to have the glue on both faces. I'm going to start to position this so it... Because it's going to start sticking here. And I want to have that up to about there. And that looks pretty good. So I'll just go ahead and... The messy process, and I've got a rag, wet rag handy to clean up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to start with a veneer hammer now, and I'm going to try to push out, push the glue out. Looking good. You can see the glue is already curdling up, or whatever you would call that. Uh, that shows how fast this glue works. Although it isn't finally dried until overnight. It 
Sometimes these edges pull up a little bit on me. And I may have to, tomorrow if I see a little gap or a little bubble somewhere, I'll just put more hot hide glue on that surface where the problem is and go over it with a veneer hammer and that, that'll stick it down. So it just takes a little heat and moisture and a little glue to fix problem areas that you might see the next day. Now, the next day I'll be able to cut this edge off and then uh, size it up to the, with a hand plane, with a little block plane. I'll get it even with the top and bottom surface of the drawer front. So, what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the cut this uh, center here instead of overlapping I'm just going to go ahead and cut this at the center line which is about right there and I There, there, ah, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and put the, put the next panel on here right now, overlap it a little bit and then slice it through the, the center and uh, that's what I, how I'll achieve a, a good joint here at the section. Now, I'm going to cut this midpoint here to create this joint. I just finished this a few minutes ago. Now I've got this one on here. Uh, so I'm going to cut through both, both surfaces here at the same time. About right there. Just using a an exacto knife and I want to make sure that I cut through all the way through both both veneers cut that right there There and now I'm gonna lift off this piece lift this up a little bit temporarily lift that up and then pull out this waste section underneath here Okay, got 
that all that material out of there. Just gonna give that a little heat and extra glue. Okay, that's good. Then I'm just going to leave this all messy like this. And then uh, tomorrow I'll clean up the edges. I may take off some of these wads of glue here. Just because I, if that hardens, it just makes it a little bit harder tomorrow to clean up. But... Then this drawer will be ready for veneering, doing the veneering pattern on the front. I'm going to get rid of some of this extra glue right here on the surface. And I'm, I'm veneering here not for the looks. I'm not trying to cover up the secondary wood to make it look better. I'm just covering it with the veneer to equalize the moisture absorption on both the front face and the back face. And that'll help, help to stabilize the shape of the drawer front and uh, that'll be important in this piece. I made sure that the drawer front fit into the opening in the case. So there's just a little bit of a wobble when I put it in. Uh, there'll be some final shaving and with the hand planes after the drawer is assembled with the sides, the dovetail joints and all that. There'll be more hand planing to fit everything, but it's pretty much in a good size to, to fit without too much cleaning later. Okay, I declare that's ready to let it harden.